Oh yeah, thanks, Yaddle. There we go. Um, yeah, um, the problem with both of these two people, uh, like, L as Ludi they're playing... Ludi just gets the unfortunate circumstance where he gets, like, I don't know, rng by God. <laughs> yeah, he gets smashed for quite a bit. <laughs> And he loses like his composure, then it gets bad. But then Plastic Max, like kind of like on the opposite end, he does lose his composure as well. But it's like because of the character he plays, like he can't find a kill sometimes. Right. Understand understandable from a chic range. Oh, yeah. Button check. And a look, yeah, button check. You well, know, I'm I'm a sad man because at mines, Sandfish is I'm the only person that Sandfish won't button check against. I'm that free apparently. Kills me every time. Oh okay. yeah, Sam does do a bunch <laughs> every single game. Oh no, <laughs> I felt bad. Uh, call him out again in Ditto and then prove that you're the superior game. And of the of the state. Yeah. I also have, I, there's another one I have to beat too. The Lekman? No, Eichelman. Yeah, well, Eichelman. Well, Eichelman. Eichelman. Yeah, that would be a tough one now that he's in Smash Four. It's just like he like Ganon like there's not like much oh, like there's not like much like. Combo stuff you can do with Ganon. Saran Wrap, come over here and commentate right hey, now. You, you switch with me. I'll just one second. I don't think she would be forced out. She beat you? Alright. Yeah. Um, anyway, getting into the finally getting into the match, it looks like. Yeah, yeah Smash 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 Smash. Alright. Needles are fully charged. Shuriken's coming right out. It's a ninja battle of the centuries. <laughs> well, oh my god, look at that Naruto run. <laughs> Does she even have a Naruto run? Uh. It's Really low, so yeah, I guess so. But not like on the level of Nasa. Gr Gr I, I don't know, but Greninja has a pretty good one too. We've yeah. seen him run. And um, trying to go for that up tilt into up smash, not going to get it. Gets. I'm just assuming that like Greninja would get like steamrolled in this matchup. <laughs> like if it was an actual ninja battle. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I guess both. Yeah. I don't know. Highly pressurized water is very dangerous. Yeah, but she's like, <laughs> look at Sheik move. Can he catch that with water? Uh. Yeah, you can. Water is. It, water is weird because if, if you hit water from a high in, like fall, it's like hitting cement. So there's a chance that he's pressurizing it so hard that he's hitting cement, or she's getting hit by cement every time. Greninja's out here. <laughs> uh, so anyway, back to, back to the match. Uh, this commentary plastic, is great. Yeah, uh, plastic Max doing a a great job at keeping like Ludi back and keeping him like contained and like Greninja just uses um. Their speed to go in and out and get damage, but yeah. she can match that speed right back and do the exact right opposite to she, to the Greninja and a lot of edge guarding right there that was just happening. I'm trying to go for grabs, two missed grabs already, and just being really punished for it. Already above 100%. Guillermo was questionably very far back away from the action. Like he like got stage controlled and ran away to reset for no reason. He, he's like he's like a guy or he's like the girl in class that like when you know in elementary that's trying to give you the note but oh, she's a little bit too shy to give you the note. Yeah. So she's like, she runs up trying to grab it then she runs wow, back. That trip. <laughs> yeah. The, oh good board air that was, taking that the first That was like stock. a beautiful sequence. Up smash <laughs> dragged him down down tail up smash again and then he paired him. And that was really good. Taking that stock even after getting uh, pretty much decimated in that first half of that yeah. stock, that but finally bringing it back with over 100%. So that rage was definitely helping there on the board. It and fair. Yeah. And now and you see that that just that weird up smash at a different like. I want to see how Guillermo finishes the kill. Like I, I think he's just gonna have to go off stage and edge guard Greninja. Nice wait by Louie. Yeah. He doesn't get the punish he wants. Though. Doesn't doesn't get the punish. And he's back. Oh, that was a very strange bouncing fish. A little bit too late on that as yeah. well. Up there, trying to probably drag it down. No, nope. gets uh, up smash. He just wants to keep Sheik above him since he has advantage and he has the air. complete like yeah. control right now. And good. see, I oh god, I have problems with that up beat, but oh good, good tech on that down air. Yeah. Well done, and just constant jabs coming oh. out. Good fair, can already up to ninety percent. Yeah, this is well. If Guillermo takes a stock, it's a little bit hard for him, but he can rack up damage quick and fast Ooh. with Sheik. Let's see if he can close it out on this edge guard. Looks like Ludi's gonna slip by. Nice the, trump. That was, yeah, that was a, that was a good job of also getting back to the stage by Ludi because there was a lot of options there that Gamero could have gone in and yeah. got him. Nice trump, but um, Ludi's content with not risking like the edge guard. He's just playing back. He doesn't need, like have a reason to go in. At this point, though, 167 percent. I feel like you just you have and you have that lead. You just, like, granted, that doesn't mean you're gonna win for sure. Yeah. But at 167%, if you can just get any hit right now and just get even more damage, yeah. Even if you lose that first stock, you have a chance of winning, like real, like really heavily there. So let's see here. It's kind of dangerous against like top tiers, like, because they can rack on damage so quick and save. Like. Yeah, and then now he's at too high representative with an up air and see that. 
just go in and do it. Oh god, I gotta reach all the way over here. Yeah, Guillermo played uh, from Guillermo's side. I'd like to see like a little bit more needles. Like he wasn't needling enough, or like as much to keep him away. Mm -hmm. But I feel like the shuriken could cancel those out. Well, I mean, there's five of them, so it could just go through a single shuriken. All of them. Yeah, I don't think all the needles would trade with the shuriken either. A big one, I feel like it would though. Yeah, a big one would just like he'll just be like in lag and he'll get hit anyway. So, yeah, so better, yeah, definitely more needles. And are we going to FD? Are we going going to the finals of destinations? I don't like this stage. I just don't like the background. See, I, see, I, I, I know I keep bringing my Ganon experience up, <laughs> but Lila is the best stage. The best Ganon stage. It is because so many jank things happen with Ganon. I managed to get a side B kill from the middle of the stage. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's ridiculous. Anyway, anyway go this isn't Marvel. <laughs> yeah, give me this isn't Marvel. Going straight into that raw down air. Not going to get punished for it though. 14% already. Pretty even at the current moment. But as soon as I say that, she's getting the grab. But, you know, she didn't get much out of that grab, but he was able to string follow it. up. Yeah, at least he didn't like completely drop like winning that um like, little. Yeah. Yeah. And and oh, nice just trying to go for the ledge jump, but not actually he, getting the roll first. Yeah, he reached the roll that time since Ludi buffered roll last time or in the last game. But nice little string by Ludi. Can he bring him juggle? It would be pretty cool in that second one if you brought him down, because that would actually just need him to do a bit more, especially even at that height. Yeah. And yeah, good job keeping him off. Can he use it? The needles were there, but the needles weren't coming out at that yeah. point. Just and I think needles are still fully charged. Yeah. So right now needles need to, like you were no, saying, needles maybe once, once he's charged. off stage. Oh yeah, because there's no flash right now. But once he's off stage, get those needles, like you said. Yeah. And this is the perfect bet. There's the needles. Ludi's kind of throwing out a lot of uppers for like no reason. He should play a little think, bit more patient. I think he's actually trying to delay his uh, get up because he's predicting that those needles are actually going to come out. All right, I, mean, I can see that. But trying to trying to delay his uh, yeah. return. Nice jump. Doesn't get the 50-50. Well done. And just it's just going to be who can get nice it first. Uh, trying to read the fastball yeah. into the up smash. Not going to get it. And needles like. Uh, the a little bit there. With the shuriken? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because oh, it didn't I... hit him. Anyway, <laughs> we're learning things. Well, this matchup's like weird. I don't think you've ever seen like a Greninja and a Sheik fight at like high, or like, yeah. You... At Colorado high standard. Yeah. <laughs> It made it, it made you buffer out of that yet again. All these ledge guards are actually not leading to any sort of trumps. Yeah. You get, they're getting, well, she's getting well, like the trump, but he's not getting the He's like, con up. he's conditioning Ludi to roll. Like, he like, he ran up to the ledge and then Ludi buffered roll and uh, Guillermo just backed him for it. That was well, that was well done. He's just going to constant reset. That managing to avoid the explosion up air. Is he going to try to follow up? No, nope. or up throw. Not managing to get the up air out of it though. Yeah, this is a, this is tough. Well, both of them don't want to lose the stock right now, so they're playing safe. And that's Ooh, the first one. Nice Good back, back air. air. Yeah. It's always a bear. Always, yeah. Uh, Rar bear. <laughs> Rar bear. Rar. Um, I want to see how Guillermo plays the lead since he didn't have the lead last game. So I want to see how, if he like decides to approach a little bit more or needle. And that was a weird air dodge. Landing really under, or really badly, but not getting much punish out of that. Ooh, and nice four airs, four he's going to take it. Getting that first stock finally yeah. off Plastic Mag. Can he get final stock? Uh, Guillermo hasn't, well, he died pretty early off that uh, fair. He died at like 100 before the hit. He didn't get like uh, any type of chance to even it or like put more of a lead on. Plastic Mag's doing a really job of getting yeah. in right now on this neutral. Yeah. That's the thing with like Greninja. Greninja's like kind of a combo or combo weight character and Sheik's just so incredibly fast and can break um, Greninja's zone pretty easy. Get the get the, break that guard. Yeah. Greninja's that aren't up temple. Residential residence over. Yeah. It's okay. Shut up, Yaddle. <laughs> we ain't free. 1v1 one one me. <laughs> Alright, Guillermo's running away with this one. He's he's making smart takes and like what Ludi's um, and he's like committing to. And Ludi's rolling a lot right now. Yeah. And I think might be from the ledge rolls as well. Cause there's, oh yeah, see there's another roll. Can we can we count how many rolls? And forward smash. Uh, the good thing about early. this is like it's not 
too terrible unless like Guillermo gets like a hard read at the ledge. Nice mix up on the jump from getting West Charge. Mm -hmm. yeah, back this could be potentially more. scary because Greninja would rage. It, down, a tipper down tilt, I think. It's like a tipper up smash. Or the down tilt confirmed to up smash could kill Sheik. Oh, right, yeah, like, right off the edge, most likely. Yeah, well, it'll just kill off the top. Because it's gonna. The oh, sweet yeah, spot on the side. On, oh, the sweet spot on the side. Okay, yeah. I thought you were talking about the side. Oh, but yeah, no. sweet spot. Yeah, he's oh. trying to go for it. it. It will definitely kill at this percent. Question is, will he land it? Shuriken's gonna come out. And no, there's no more needles. Air dodge, that's and up there, yep. Game two, going to Plastic Pack. He got the. He guessed right on the 50 50. The guess he was right. <laughs> I guess he was right. I put a. The Gessie. The 50 50 Gessie. Hey, you want a Gessie? I love Gessies. I like the the one about Captain Hindsight, like where the commentary was like, oh yeah, he should have jumped in this situation. It's like Captain Hindsight. Yeah. Captain He should have, he should have, uh, he should have gotten Yeah, some you guys should have put a uh, fire, or like an escape ladder for fires, and then he's like, oh yeah, thank you, Captain Hindsight. <laughs> oh my god. Well, well you should have booked that vacation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, that, um, Captain their obvious. control starts off, or like the games always start off really slow, like none of them. They're so fast, like if they they don't want to commit too hard. They're like trying to poke Ooh, very like safely in the beginning to see the what they're doing. Right, that was actually a good follow up by Ludi falling off the fall. And thank you, thank you, good comment. I love it. All right, but so and right now, Plastic Mac actually getting a couple forward airs, not managing to follow up much after that. And or up till up air, can he get anything out? Up smash, sweet spot too, and just follows yeah, it up with another up air. Yeah, he's not letting uh, Plastic Mac land at all. He's taking full control of the game. Not like last game where he was kind of getting steamrolled, but... And, and that was when he was on his last dog, I yeah. think. May have been just just trying to finish it out. Yeah. But it's really it's really hard when you have someone who's beating you in neutral very well. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, I see how Ludi plays the lead also. I want to see if he commits like a little bit more if he like plays back. He, he, it seems like he's playing a little bit back. He'll, he'll like go in shield and then get and then back yeah. right out as soon as it feels like. Fat damage. Ooh, that was, that was a good combo. Super fat damage from Plastic Mag. About evens up the game. Baits Ooh. out the air dodge, but Ludi jumps immediately. Well done. Good decision. Nice Man. Trump. Oh. Trump's everywhere. Managing only get the not the sweet spot of the up smash. Uh, good yeah. damage. Hunter and tries to read, tries to read the neutral ghetto, but not quite. Yep. Nice. And bouncing, bouncing fish, not not going to take it. Not at this point. A little, probably around 120 yeah. off the ledge. And up yeah. air is going to take that first stock. Looney is a little bit tilted right now, which is not good. Yeah, you shouldn't like ever play like with a bad mentality. Or like even if you lose the lead, like you could get it back. Or yeah, Smash Four is a crazy game. Yeah. Especially with the rage mechanics too. And now I feel like Ludi's now going to be a little, a way more aggressive. Yeah. Although he's brute. Yeah. yeah he's playing. going right, going right for that grab too. He's going to get a little bit more aggressive. It, this is when he gets he, all the adrenaline getting to him. Yeah. And nice good. F tilt to get him off stage. Let's see if he can read the get up option. Yeah, that sound was him hitting his control. And oh, just not getting the grab out of 48 extra credit points already. For Plastic Mac, nice can, up throw, and not, not going to get the upbeat or uh, the oh. water, no water stream kill. It's a hard one to get. Yeah. <laughs> and Foyer, yeah, dude, a lot Jer of Jermo's like really milking this lead right now. And, yeah, and, it, and it's and it's because of it's a, because of the tilt. It is. Yeah. And that's going to be the main reason. And it's also because the neutral is being beat out still. Yeah. At this point. Said, well, like, Ludi has to approach, and Greninja's approach options aren't really the exactly greatest. Good. Yeah. And then, like, Sheik's can game is immaculate. Ooh. Oh, nice up throw. Finally going to get. And you can see that. that, yeah. that well, like, we, not, the viewers can't see it, but we can see it. He just did his. Yeah. yeah, Ludi got a little pop off of him. <laughs> well, with 98% extra credit, though, not. It's not, like, out of it for Greninja. Yeah, for sure. And right, like, like you it's said, on, it's, it's on town. You could get the sweet spot up smash, but like with a little bit more percent, Sheik's light. And like, and like you're saying, with that rage as well, yeah, just, mm, dangerous. Oh, the untackable spin. That was that was a little bit dangerous. A yeah. little, little but dangerous. it's okay. He gets out of it. That oh, grab not managing to hit up there. Not going to kill actually. Not at that point. But nice. And bouncing fish is going to do it. He though. vanished. <laughs> he vanished into the grab. What a god. Did you see? He vanished, like, he, like, threw him up, vanished, and then he got the grab. And All then right. Bouncing Fish, that's immaculate. Oh, All right, good, sir. Thanks for the go. commentary. Yeah, I'm going to go play.
What is that? On the ground. Oh, that's uh, one of the table things. I just know the can I get casters? No, I'll have. Okay, cool. Cast your own fucking thing. I'll bring the I'll bring the Michael. <laughs> There's literally flat commentators. We need commentators. Get Liam.